Hello Taurus, Elsie here with your bonus read. Uh, it is a Sunday as I record this, but anytime you find this reading, it will uh, be the right time and it may or may not resonate with you. It is a general reading, so take that into consideration. I do the bonus readings every time I sit down at this table for you because you guys gobble up these readings like crazy. Thank you so much for doing that. I'm just trying to keep up with you. So let's look at tarot. We're just going to use tarot this time around. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is your bonus read. I do not time or date these ones, Taurus. So it is what it is. Could happen in a day, in a week, in two weeks, in five years. Take this resonates. Yeah, I intend for it to be future energy. Let's take a look here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, my bull gang. I am your Taurus sister. I'm your bully sister. Here we go. It's a Taurus sun that I have. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you for being in the comments. Yellow entertain me. You cracked me up. Somebody keeps telling me they love me like chicken. Thank you. <laughs> I like chicken too. Brock, brock. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. We are starting. All right, here we are. It is the moon. Oh, very interesting. We start out with very mysterious energy. Something that you may not feel, or maybe you feel it coming, but you don't see it coming. feels like these children are sitting in a room with an adult who's telling them stories about the moon. That's what I think is going on. Oh, interesting. Look, we have the two, the two, uh, the dog and the wolf there. Very interesting. So that's Pisces energy. That's Cancer energy as well. We have the six of good cheer, which is the six of cups. And we have the Page of Gifts, which is the Page of Pentacles. I feel like there's something that is materializing in the 3D as we speak, Taurus. Oh, I just got head-to-toe chills. It feels like something is going on in the background that you don't see. It's coming up in the future. It's something that's materializing. I'm going to say it's materializing out of nothing. It's like it's just going to show up, and you're not expecting it to show up. Look, somebody is showing up at someone's house. I can't even... <laughs> Somebody is showing up at someone else's house. So this is the Six of Cups. And so it could be family for sure. Maybe you don't see that the family is coming to visit you. Um, the Six of Cups is nostalgic, right? It's We have nostalgia together. We know each other from a long while back. We've known each other maybe all of our lives, but maybe in this life we've known each other most of our lives, or it feels like that. It's a deep connection with somebody who you feel like you've known forever. Or maybe it's it's uh, last life as well. Tell me more about Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Taurus. If you're interested in a private read, please know I still have room left over at Wizio. I will be reading through the holiday, maybe take one day off, maybe the 25th, but I will be reading through uh, the holiday season. We've got the King of Gifts, who is the King of Pentacles. I believe like someone is bringing you a present, Taurus. Someone is bringing you something over the holiday season. The King of Gifts is holding a present. They're holding a gift. Someone is arriving, and maybe they are the gift, but I think that they're bringing something with them. That is also with the page of... Uh, Pentacles is about the page of gifts, right? It is about a small trinket or a gift, something that you can touch, smell, hold, something that's in the 3D. We have the four of gifts. Look, there's lots of pentacle energy here. Something is about to materialize in your pentacle world and you have no idea that it's going on, except that the crazy lady in Canada just told you that. <laughs> there's something that is coming here. And you have been feeling it, I have been feeling it, we've all been feeling it as a collective, that there is something that is arriving. And it's it's here, I want to say. This is the this is the crown of the reading. It's here, but you can't see it. 
It's like someone has already made the decision to do it. Someone who can't let you go. They can't let go. Someone who has not been willing to share with you in the past. Something's about to materialize with this person. They could, you know, we've got everything here. We have is, well, we've got cups, but we have all of these pentacles here. So we could be looking at um, Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy, or we could be looking at Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. We have the Queen of Good Cheer. I haven't seen her yet. There we go. Queen of Good Cheer. She's the Queen of Cups. So, my friend, I think that you know what you know. <laughs> the Queen is someone who is quite psychic, right? You might have water energy. Um, uh, you might have something in your chart that, that uh, renders you kind of psychic. I want to say that, um, you know, this is the first time I've seen <coughs> the Queen of Cups um, sitting with a, a crystal ball. It's like this queen is getting messages or there might be something dropped in the mailbox. We can see the mail sitting here, but look. Oh my gosh, I can't even look at this. Yeah. I feel like the queen is does know that something is going down. So you might be someone who has water energy um, or maybe it's going down with someone who's water energy. This is Pisces, but also Scorpio and Cancer in this reading. For some of you, it could show up on New Year's Eve. And I think I've said that in this reading before for you, Taurus, because this person is drinking. It's very dark outside. It could be midnight. I don't know. Sitting alone in their kitchen. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please, for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about the Six of Cups. The Two of Swords. Dang, look at that. I like that depiction, actually. So the Two of Swords, somebody here is trying to make a decision. I just want to bring to your attention that under most of the other depictions and the other decks that I have, usually there's a full moon that shows up over the head of somebody. Three moons. The third moon isn't here. I'm thinking three moons is, is um, three cups is what I'm thinking because I, I do have a deck called the Wandering Moon Tarot where all the moons are cups. Tell me about the Two of Swords, please. We've got the Two of um, Candles, which is the Two of Wands. Somebody, oh my gosh, somebody is writing cards. Somebody is receiving cards. It feels like you are going to get some kind of a message, but someone might drop it in the mail it might come to you with your regular mail or they might come by your house and drop it in the mail because we have someone arriving here. Someone is making a passionate decision. I feel like they're trying, they're trying to see something from your point of view. That I feel like they're blocked is what I want to say. I feel like they're blocked in the mind, but I feel like they've been journaling about you or writing about you, or maybe they've been writing you a letter. Maybe you'll receive like a handwritten letter. But the two of wands is about taking a chance, taking a risk, expanding your life like the world is in your hands. You know that it is, and so somebody's shooting their shot here. And it may be in the form of some sort of written message. We have the king of wands here yes someone is inspired so if you're dealing with maybe uh someone who is a a fire sign uh the king of wands is leo but also um aries and sagittarius in this reading tell me what is materializing here tell me about the page of gifts or the page of pentacles here for taurus it's the ace of wands it's a brand new path of passion, my friend. That's what's materializing. And you don't see it coming. You might feel it coming, but you don't see it coming. Here comes Santa. <laughs> Here comes Santa bringing you the thing that you asked for. I just can't even. Look at that. Very interesting. The chariot is here. It could be cancer. You could be dealing with cancer. Uh, it feels like this fast-moving energy is quickly approaching. And uh, the chariot is here. Somebody here is not taking no for an answer. 
This person wants victory. Oof, what's this? The Ten of Cups. <laughs> They're bringing with them in, in the back of this sleigh. <laughs> they are bringing the Ten of Cups, my friend. They're bringing the ultimate in happiness for you. They want to start a new path of passion with you. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, because the King of Pentacles, if that's the one that's showing up, we've got two kings here, right? We've got halfway to the emperor, but if the King of Pentacles is the one showing up, it feels like this is the one who wants to settle down. This is the one who's ready to settle down, who wants to have kids, who wants to have the house, wants to support you. Tell me about the King of Gifts, please, or the King of Pentacles. We've got the Five of Swords here, the Five of Canes. We've got the world. No more arguing. I don't want to fight anymore. We have to bring this old chapter to an end, Taurus. So we can start with stability. So we can start brand new. The gift, right? We can start brand new. Can we start brand new? Oh my gosh. Sinterklaas. Right? Um, we have the, 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 um, the Hierophant. There you are. I feel like a cycle is about to come to an end for you, Taurus, and it's a cycle of argument and of silence. I feel like there is some sort of a inspired action that's being taken by the King of Pentacles or the King of Wands. I think the King of Wands really is here to say that they're, that this person is acting out of inspiration. They're not just doing it because they want to do it. It's like the universe is telling them it's time to go, and you are the fire in their heart, the Ace of Wands, right? So I feel like this person that's coming to you does want a commitment. Tell me about the queen, please. Somebody has not been able to let go of you. I feel like this is your energy here. You could, of course, be the king of pentacles, but it, it feels to me like the king of pentacles and the queen of, of cups are connected. That's what it feels like. And you two have not been able to let go of each other, regardless of how you're looking at it, whether you're the king of pentacles or whether you're the queen of uh, cups. The holly king, the emperor showing up. That's why we were getting two kings. So now we know that that's the same energy. But this person is coming to you as the king of pentacles to show you that they're ready to settle down. They're ready to give you everything that you need in the pentacle world in order to settle, settle things with you. And they are doing it out of inspiration. So I feel like this holly king is the emperor. And uh, this person is going to try and find their balance with you. They've got, oh, interesting. <laughs> this person's got the Ace of Wands in their hand. Tell me more. For Taurus, please. We have the Page of, um, the Page of Wands. So there is going to be some sort of a message. For some of you, it's going to come through like a Christmas card or a holiday card. It's going to come through a letter. Some of you are going to get a handwritten letter. Some of you, the person knows where you live and they're going to show up and dump it in your mailbox. So if it shows up and it doesn't have a postmark on it, you know that that person's been to your door. I don't think they're going to knock. I don't think that they're going to startle you. I think that they'll just drop it in your mailbox. But this, I feel like somebody here is is kind of scared of the answer, scared what you're going to say. But I do believe that they're going to follow it up with a text. And so we've got the page of wands here. That the emperor is going to follow it up with the text to see if you receive the message. Look at that. The two of cups is here. Look, this is really big time. It's here, Taurus. With the thing we've been talking about for months and months and years on end, it's here. That's what it looks like. It's being, it's being, it, you can't see it, but it's being uh, created in the 3D as we speak here. Tell me about this moon energy. So we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Taurus here, we have uh, the world card, which is the end of a complete cycle here, stepping through the portal and going to the, the fool card, right? Um, so that's Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We have Aries, Sagittarius here as well. Someone has um, been, someone's been standing their ground that they are going to get the victory with you again, the ace 
<laughs> the Ace of Wands is in this person's hand. The Ace of Wands is here, and the Ace of Wands is in the hand of the Emperor, because we have the Six Wands here and one in the hand of the Elf here. So this person wants victory. This person is not going to take no for an answer. They might be showing up with a couple of gifts, I'm saying. They might just be showing up, dumping this letter in your box because they're really busy, but they're going to follow up with a text to see if maybe you're going to be able to... to uh, uh, reunite with them I feel the eight of candles is here which is the eight of wands and I feel like somebody here wants to talk to you tell me about this outcome please we've got um, the magus which is the magician we've got the page of canes which is the page of swords we've got the six of gifts which is the six of pentacles and we have the four of wands in the reverse so this person is going to tell you that um, they are single they're no longer attached um, they don't want to spend the holidays alone. Um, I feel like they want to give you reciprocity. I feel like this person's been watching you. And I feel like they are someone who now realizes their own worth and that they do have what they need, all the tools that they need in order to come forward to you, my friend. Sorry, just dropped a card. There it is. This person has not been honest with you. They've not been honest about wanting to come forward. They've not been honest about sharing their feelings. We have the nine of wands here. I really love that the nine wands are dropping out of the bottom of the bag. It's like somebody's decided that they're no longer, like this person doesn't even care that there's a hole in the bag. I feel like there's a, somebody here has been a little fearful of coming forward uh, because they know they're going to have to be honest with you. We've got balance, which is Sagittarius energy. That is... Um, it's the moment of alchemy, right? That is uh, the temperance card. I feel like somebody is coming forward, Taurus. Oh, there it is. Ace of Cups. <laughs> the Ace of Good Cheer. I feel like somebody's coming forward in good cheer. I think they want to take you out for a drink. I feel like that somebody is coming that you don't see. Something is materializing here. This person has it bad for you. I feel like the Two of Cups is here for a reason. That the Emperor is very passionate about you. They're looking for this new path of passion. And I think what Santa is bringing to you this year is love. The absolute apex of love. Somebody who is ready to kiss you under the mistletoe. It feels like it's a beautiful, happy family situation. That maybe you have a child and they have a child or children. Um, and that it's, it's like everything is going to come together around the holidays for some of you. Could be dealing with a cancer. Just saying. All right, Taurus, I'm going to go for now. That's kind of exciting. It's a very good reading. I love it. I'm going to go for now, Taurus. I love you. You know it. And uh, I'll be back because I'm always back. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.